Hi, it's Nick at Jordan Bikes in Leeds and we're in our dyno today. We've got a cross-plane crank R1 2009 model in for a bench ECU flash. We've remapped the ECU, did restricted a few things and stuck it on the dyno. So we're going to now do the final run and tell you what extra power and torque we've achieved and how we've done it. I'm just going to swap with the cameraman because it's Josh there, he's our tuner. Okay, what we got? So we've got, from the we started with 142.8 horsepower and we have now got 154.6 so just, just over 11 brake horsepower, nearly 12 brake horsepower increase as you can see, it's a lot smoother mid range, um, massive gains, probably 10 15 horsepower mid range. Um, and what have you done to get that? How have you achieved that? All we've done is uh, de restricted the gears, a little bit of ignition advance, turned a couple of things off in the advanced settings like um, deceleration fuel cut, uh, the pair valves now turned off, um, and, and that's about it really. Um, so it should be a lot, lot smoother for him. Just a quick one for those of you that don't know what a pair valve is, it's basically designed to uh, control emissions and it turns the, the mucky warm air that's trying to leave the exhaust, it turns it back around and puts it back through the system so it's kind of burning it twice. So by uh, limiting that you basically get rid of the dirty gases so the air that's coming to the air box is cold and clean so it burns a lot better, that's right isn't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. more or less. Perfect, yeah. and a few little changes like that you can get improvements like that. So this is the bench remap, at the time we're talking now, uh, it's 220 quid. So if you want yours doing, give us a shout or check out the website and see if we can do yours. JordanBikes.com. Thank you.